specifically since the start of this year, different uh, uh, Russell Brand or JP Sears, like people who have millions of followers that I like to listen to, they, they're having on these, uh, these crypto type guest people who all seem to be basically Bitcoin core maximalists. And so there's a, I'm sure there's a, mon a monetary incentive behind that. And I think that they will continue like it, and the way that I see it in uh, in uh, bear market, it benefits Bitcoin Cash. So if if there's a bear market going on, and then this the same agenda exists to make sure that Bitcoin Cash doesn't uh, doesn't thrive, then uh, then it makes sense that as the bear market is happening, there's more of these kind of attacks against Bitcoin Cash when. When realistically, it's like, well, why, why is that your, why is that your focus anyway? It's just like um, after the fork, like I don't know, for a couple of years, there was just so much uh, toxic communication, whether they're from actual people or bots or whatever, or maybe they're just spun up by different influencers of, uh, of people just trashing Bitcoin Cash who don't really know what they're talking about, but because they're bought into Bitcoin Core, they they just push that, uh, they push that agenda. So if if uh, if Bitcoin Core takes like a nosedive, maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't really know, but it's almost like it seems likely that the the knob of attacking Bitcoin Cash from that kind of social aspect would likely be turned up at the same time in order to kind of prevent it from thriving in that environment. So I don't I don't expect like the the attacks from the those kind of money interests to stop, and in the in uh, so long as uh, so long as Bitcoin Cash hasn't still works and hasn't compromised its ideals, it still represents the same the same threat um, that Bitcoin originally did.